Welcome back to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken. Today's experiment is Easter Egg Science. So three hands-on fun experiments you can do at your house. What you need for this experiment is iodized salt, just regular household salt, a hard-boiled egg, and a raw egg. So experiment one is to figure out if it's a raw or hard-boiled egg. Experiment two is you're going to spin the raw egg, stop it, and then it spins again. And experiment three is a stand-up egg. Okay, well here I've got a great um, hands-on experiment for kids at home, especially right around Easter, right? So I got two eggs. I got one as a, a, a raw and one as a hard-boiled, but I don't remember which one because when I hard-boiled them, I kind of intermixed them back in, so now I've got to figure it out. So what I could do is I could shake them, and I can't really tell a difference. I could hold them, and I don't really can tell, but there is a way we're able to tell, right? So if we put one down on the side and we take another one and we grab the ends and we spin it, you can see it's just spinning around right here, right? So um, this is, must be the raw egg, right? So it wobbles and it spins because the egg inside is liquid, right? So when the, uh, the raw egg is spinning, the liquid inside sloshes around and the effect of the egg spins back and forth, right? So um, the egg will just spin and eventually come to a stop. So this is because of Newton's first law of motion. So the law states, if an object in motion remains in motion unless an external force stops it, right? So put it more simply, Newton's first law says if something is moving and it keeps moving unless something else stops it. So we have our example of first law of motion here with the raw egg. So this is something else you could try with this. Now we figured out this is probably the raw egg, but let's figure out something else. We're going to spin it, then I'm going to stop it. And we're going to see that the liquid is still moving even though I stopped it. And when I release my finger, it should start spinning again. See that? That's pretty cool right there, right? So... <laughs> So I'm spinning it, and the liquid is going around in a circle because we know it's a raw egg. And even though I stop the egg, right, um, and when I release it, it starts to spin again. One more time. That is cool science right there. So since we know this is the raw one, right, we're going to get to the, uh, the, the hard-boiled one. So now this is no liquid inside, so nothing's going to move around. So when I spin it... You gotta spin it right. You spin it wrong, it goes off the table. Woo! Off the table. There it goes right there. Oh. Anyway, because it is a solid, it's able to spin all the way straight up, and therefore I know it's a hard-boiled egg. Give it another try. Very cool. Right there, it's great science because of all the, the, it's all solid, right? All right, for the second experiment, we're gonna have hard boiled or soft boiled, doesn't matter. You're gonna use some table salt because it's got a uh, rectangle and squared shape. So it's gonna help us. If we're gonna try to stand an egg up on its own, uh, even on the big end, it doesn't wanna stand up, right? Because it's just, it's round or it's oval and it won't stand up. But with the cube um, shape, salt or the rectangle shape it'll help build a base so we can't stand it up right so we sprinkle a little bit of salt here take your egg i'm gonna do the small end it's not very easy i'll tell you that because you're when you go to release your hand hits it every time so you have to be very gentle but i'm going to show you the salts around it you can see it's holding it up, standing straight up, which is pretty cool. Gently blow the salt away. And there you go, you got your egg right there, stand up egg. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to click thumbs up and to subscribe, and thanks for watching. <laughs> okay, that video seems really interesting. Oh, and um, that video too. Um, <laughs> I'm thinking right now.
now those two videos click on them at the same time and those two and the red subscribe button down below and um yeah i'm thinking um thank you uh bye those two videos too